Okay, so we are playing one more game. Let's go C4 with the English. Okay, so now we can play E4 and have a very nice exchange in the center <coughs> and play Knight C3, which is a very fun line. We transfer it to the Korokan defense, they accelerated the pan of attack. Okay, so let's go Knight C3 anyway. Okay. And, have a, and let's have an exchange in the center and play d4. As you see, this is not really an, uh, an English structure. It's uh, transferred to the Kurokan <coughs> accelerated pan of attack. So in this position, we can obviously develop normally. Okay, so let's go bishop e2. Maybe a, a three in this position can be nice idea, almost symmetrical. Okay, so basically it's got a, <clears throat> a nice idea, maybe. So I want to play a three anyway to stop everything. Okay, let's short castle. I guess maybe knight. Knight f6 uh, move after. Okay, so obviously we can develop the bishop, but he can try to attack us on uh, b2. So let's improve the position of the rook. Okay. <clears throat> and obviously I want to put some pressure on this pawn when possible, but we don't really want to lose this pawn. So, we, we still got this knight uh, to defend, but we need to be careful about this position. And maybe uh, queen b3 next, in order to put some pressure on, uh, on b7, on uh, d5. Okay, so let's go. And as you see, it's not so simple to defend this pawn. You can lose the rook if you're not careful. Because of this strong bishop. Same, same thing uh, is go to us. Okay, so this, this line is very, very symmetrical. So next, obviously, we can put the rook on uh, c1. <clears throat> we can also put the rook on uh, d1. It really, really depends uh, what's going to be on this line but uh, in those kinds of structure you want to uh, go for uh, for his weaknesses <clears throat> okay so obviously if you're going to play a4 you can just push the pawn and then we can maybe then we need to move the knight but we can go for the second pawn this is an idea So let's just improve the position. He's got also a knight to e4 move. And the same goes for us. We can also play knight to e5. Very nice outpost. And then after that, maybe we can even go uh, bishop f3 in order to put some more pressure on this pawn. Okay, so obviously maybe you have a very nice outpost. So we need to be mindful of that. Um, yeah, and you can also attack this pawn, so let's go back. In case he's going to create an outpost, I'm just going to take. I guess black is maybe a little better. Also, we can try maybe fix the pawn structure somehow and maybe... Or maybe we can also meet uh, knight c4 with knight uh, e5. Yes, I think this it makes sense, but we still cannot uh, afford to lose this pawn. So let's go back. And I want to meet um, knight to c4 with knight to e5 because 
I think that giving uh, black this um, <clears throat> this pawn structure is a bit too much, and I don't really want to lose this game, obviously. So let's try to meet him. I think a good move for uh, for black is to play bishop d6 to prevent it. But yes, in case that we really have no choice, <clears throat> we do going to play this uh, uh, to make this exchange. Now let's move the bishop back and I guess we can always have a very nice fork on uh, g4 which is a little bit risky because you open out some lines but um, I think we'll be much better after that okay so let's go back now let's meet knight c4 with the knight e5 and if he's not going to do anything maybe I will even play uh, f4 myself And again, I'm, I'm not going to take with this pawn because then he can push. Now we might have a, even a series of exchanges, but I think black is still going to be better after that. Okay, so now we can take, but I think even play, yeah, even play f4 is a very interesting uh, line. We don't really have to take. And if we can even make a uh, black uh, exchange, we can take with this pawn and I guess we are clearly much better. Now we will might be able even to put some more pressure on this pawn. <clears throat> okay, so he's going for this weakness. I guess in this position we can move the queen back now, but we're going to lose this pawn, so maybe even rook, rook d1 is an option. Also keep in mind that maybe in the future we will have some nice fog, but right now he's protecting those uh, d squares, so... <clears throat> we can also move the king back. And I do need to found, find a better square for my queen, because the queen isn't really doing anything. But I don't really have any good squares, so... Okay, so let's improve the position a little more. And again, we want to put as much as pressure as possible on this pawn. Like right now we got two attackers against one defender, so maybe we we'll try to go back. Okay, okay, so he's trying to attack to defend like this. So <clears throat> let's calculate. So if we take, he take, I take, he takes, I takes, and obviously we're up upon. So no no need to calculate that so much. Just the question is, uh, maybe he's got some tactics. Okay, so let's play like this, because now we are going to force him to take. Because if he's not going to take, I'm going to mess with his pawn structure. So, let's move the bishop. And if he takes, I'm going to take, and, and I'm going to be up a pawn. So as you can see, f4 was really, really useful in this position, but also I do need to play um, king to h1 when possible, because I don't really want him to allow, to allow him to uh, <clears throat> um, expose his diagonal. So, obviously in this position I can go d3, queen d3. And maybe in this position I can also think about uh, playing before, but when you're going to play before, you will allow <coughs> uh, queen c3. So maybe in this position we can go rook c1 first. And also when you go a uh, bit uh, before, <coughs> let's take, we can take with the rook or with the queen. Um, tough decision. 
tough decision. Let's stack with the queen. So anyway, <coughs> uh, if we're going to play b4, then uh, in this position he will get a very nice outpost. Now we might even exchange, but then we might even create a very strong outpost for uh, for black. So we need to keep that in mind. Okay, in this position we can even maybe try to go f5, queen f5 in order to create a, an attack on this pawn, but it's already protected, so we can also fall back. Yeah, I think fall back, queen d3 makes sense. And I guess maybe f6. Like I do want to play before before he's got the chance to play f6. So if we're going to be if there's going to be any exchange, I would try to <clears throat> put a pressure on this pawn. Like it's it's a bit risky for uh, for white, but I think this is the last advantage that black has. So if I can remove this outpost, I think uh, um, <clears throat> I would try to find. Uh, um, I don't know, maybe a pawn promotion in the future, but I will try to find any way to win this game. But I really think this is the almost the last advantage that uh, black has. But uh, so until now he's playing really, really good. Okay, yeah, so he found this move. And yes, he's going to win his pawn back, obviously. So the question is, can we maybe do something? about it <laughs> no I don't see it yeah very good play by uh, my opponent Okay, so it takes. <clears throat> now, obviously, we can take and push even. So we can even push. And we need to try to secure this uh, pawn. Okay, so if he's going to exchange, we can take with the knight, obviously. So we can obviously can still uh, push the pawn. We don't really need to react to it because after we take, he's going to take with a check. We're going to move. He's going to take this pawn. So no need for that. So let's let's just keep pushing and take with the knight if needed. And the situation on the clock is quite well. We got uh, we got some extra time on the clock. Okay, let's push. Oh, to be honest, I had this uh, check and take, so I just missed that. Mm, unfortunately, I just missed that. Um, Hmm, shame on me, I just missed that. So the question if, if I'm going to give a check, he's going to move, I'm going to deliver another check. Now maybe I can win his knight, but he can take with the with the knight if he wants. So <clears throat> maybe we can also try to increase the pressure on B4. I guess he will try to play uh, B B5. Uh, sorry, A5. No. Okay, so let's try to put some more pressure. And yeah, I had a really winning chance, given a check and take, but I missed it completely. Even though maybe after that he can give us a check and win our knight. So probably, probably not. But okay. So let's take. So if we take now, he's got 
he can win the knight if he wants. So we can move the king. We can also try to <coughs> improve our position. Okay, so let's for now maybe move the, the king. You can try maybe uh, draw this game if he wants, but I don't really want to play for a draw, I want to win. So now taking this pawn is not really dangerous, because after the take he doesn't really have any checks. So let's take this pawn, and I guess this pawn will fall, but... <clears throat> if it, To be honest, if he's going to take this pawn, I have a very nice check and I'm going to fog the queen and the king, so... We need to see if uh, it will crumble under the time pressure or not, because the situation on the clock is not really good. Yeah, so we may be trying to to draw this game, and if I go back, he will try to to draw, and I can also try to defend. But if I'm defend, I think I'm just going to lose my advantage. So, what about g3? But then you can draw that for sure. Okay, so I don't think we have uh, much of a choice. Don't really want to draw this game. It takes. Okay, so let's just be really quick about that. Let's create an outpost. Let's try to challenge this pawn and do something okay let's check we need to find a way to take this pawn we still cannot do it because of this knight and also we need to be careful for many of those uh, pawns I guess we will go no okay maybe I missed that Yeah, mm. okay, so let's try to force an exchange. Now, okay, let's go back. We need to be really quick about that. No time to waste. And I think we need to go back maybe because if I'm going to play four, I can take and then I have another problem on my own. So, let's go here, if it takes, I take. Okay, I think I'm going to win this game. Now... <clears throat> so, no, I'm not going to draw this game. So, this is the... it's going to give us a check from this diagonal, so I need to play... ...like this. And I need to be careful because it will try maybe to to win my queen somehow. Yeah, not not the best play by me. Okay, you can try maybe draw this game. Yeah, so this was a GG. Okay, so GG by my opponent. Let's see the analyze real quick. Okay, so we both played pretty well. Okay, so in this position it was actually best to take the knight. Now we wrap a pawn. We are slightly, slightly better. Yeah, and this is what I missed, because after a check, I win the knight, so shame that I didn't uh, saw that in time, but I uh, so, uh, see that in time, sorry.
Yeah, so as you see, this game is completely equal now. Yeah, so that was a GG. Let's see. So I guess we both played pretty well. Yeah, so we played like a very high rated game. So he, he, gave, up, he gave a fight. He gave up a fight. So thank you for watching. See you on the next video, guys.